What I've learned is that one really effective way to write songs faster is to be kind of organized. A little bit of structure and planning can really help your creative process speed up. I know that's true for writing books, very true for writing novels. If you have an outline, if you know the ending, if you know the beginning before you start, it can offer you great amounts of freedom to write in sections and to not feel overwhelmed. Now, the fastest writer in the world, probably James Patterson, he and his team, he, he and his team, him and his team, he and his team, he and his team put out you know, 57,000 books a year. Uh, they organize their books chapter and verse, chapter and verse all the way through. That's how they do it. Um, but I'm talking about songs here. So what's the quickest way to organize a song? Yes, it might be the structure. You might know it's just gonna be a verse and a chorus with no bridge, that's gonna be simpler. But forget that for a second. The simplest way is found in our entitled word in the title of our video is to know the title. Now that sounds a bit uh, cliche or contrived to say that, but even the great Cole Porter who wrote so many magical songs in the 20s, 30s, and 40s, and 50s like I've Got You Under My Skin, Night and Day, Don't Fence Me In, I mean hundreds of songs. Ella Fitzgerald has actually sang an album called the Cole Porter Songbook. Dave Brubeck is on an instrumental version of all Cole Porter's songs. Everybody's covered Cole Porter from Frank Sinatra to one of the great writers of all time, Bob Dylan. Cole Porter says, I start with the title first. From this title, I work out the psychology of the tune. That's a great tip. From this title, I work out the psychology of the tune. Here's what having a title will give you. A title will give you, generally speaking, the words or a chunk of the words in the chorus. So you're already well into the song. It'll give you what the song is probably about. I mean, think about titles. The Beatles, We Can Work It Out. I wonder what that's about. I think it's about working things out. How about um, You Are the Sunshine of My Life? Hmm, I wonder what that's about. Bridge Over Troubled Water. The titles can be so informative, giving you a shape of where the song is gonna go and what the lyrics are gonna be about. It's so helpful for lyrics. I've learned this recently. I never even thought about this, but now I'm so into it. I've got my own titles, etc. book. This is really, really helpful. In fact, I just wrote a book on songwriting called Hey Songwriters and chapter three is called Entitled. I really love writing that book. I think it's fun. Tons of pop trivia too, if you like that kind of thing. But anyway, there's a prompt exercise in there where you write down five famous song titles and make your own stories around them. So whether it was The Beatles' We Can Work It Out or Stevie Wonder, You Are the Sunshine of My Life or Taylor Swift's Shake It Off, you can use those titles and make your own story quickly. Do this very quickly. Take BTO, Back When Turner Overdrive, and you have Taking Care of Business. Now that can mean many things. For him it means just getting on with the day and taking care of business, I think, for Randy Bachman. But you can think of something quickly what taking care of business means. It might mean a mafia thing. Look, I'm gonna take care of some business. You know, that's what they might be about, taking care of business. Or My Way by Frank Sinatra, uh, you know, not by Frank Sinatra, by Paul Anka actually, not by Paul Anka actually, by a French guy who wrote the melody and Paul Anka did the lyrics. But nonetheless, I did it my way is the hook in the chorus. I, I think we know what that meant. I think it means Frank did it his way. And what's your way? If you wrote a song called I Did It My Way, maybe that's a bumbling life, but whatever it is, you'll know what it is. Dave Grohl from Nirvana and the Foo Fighters, he said, think about the title like it's a bumper sticker. That's how much credence he puts into the title. He likes to write hooks, and he likes to write riffs, and he likes to write hits. So he knows how important the title is. The second prompt was come up with five original titles as fast as you can. And titles are everywhere. You can find titles in conversation from movies. You can find titles on boxes of cereal. You can find titles in a library on every single book because everybody's trying to write something catchy. So anyway, I did this prompt myself, and the fifth title I came up with was taking you down. Now, I don't know what that means to you, but it meant something specific to me. I kind of shaped it around taking down a bully, but it was actually about taking down negative voices in my life. But I used it and I wrote a song in about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Lyrics and melody, a title can really set up a song before you start. I've never thought that way before. I've done that sometimes because the first lyric that came to me might be the title instinctively, but it wasn't a conscious choice. But using titles really can speed up the process. My point is try this technique. Think of some titles and write from the title. Know what it's about, keep the whole thing simple, and let me know in the comments or any other way if the process of collecting a few titles is inspirational for you as well and helps you to be more efficient and more focused and get that song done. And it will be magical, I know it, because it's worked for me and it will work for you. 
So uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe below and check out my website. I've recently written two new books, one called Hey Writers and one called Hey Songwriters that are meant purely to inspire your process. So wishing you all the best. Here's the song I did and I gotta go to bed because I have kids and it's really late. Stay strong in your creative process and enjoy it. Talk to you soon. already and while you're at it send cash